Welcome back to another episode of DIY or Die, and today we're going to be talking about water heater blower motors. So, if you ever are pitching your water heater, replacing it, whatever, you got a buddy that's getting rid of one, or you just know where to find them, you can, uh, the, I mean, you can scrap out the water heater, but the best thing I say you can get from this is the blower motors, because most of the times they never break, and they pump out a, like an absolute ton of air. You, I mean, it's a small squirrel cage fan in here, but the amount of air that they can push out is surprising. Like, I'll show you here quick. I'm going to be using one of these for, I might actually get another one. My plan is I'm going to be building a fume extractor for a welder with one of these. So I'll quickly just show you here what it's like when I turn it on. Got to do ballast because you never know. I got some janky connections going on there. If I short something out, I don't have to worry. Toss it in the variac here. Alrighty. Uh, these things go pretty quick here. This is at 60 volts. Not at all what it was intended to run at. I'll get, uh, can I use, I can use this thing here. Fairly, slightly wet diesel, diesel soaked uh, microfiber cloth, but put it on. It's not doing anything. It was speeding up there because it's underpowered, but Let's put it up to that tap there, which is the 120 tap. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. And like, even from here, like, it's sucking a lot of air. And now, wow, it pulls so much air at, uh, well, that's, that's something you don't want it to do. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to dig that out later. That'll be a pain in the ass to get out. Okay, it didn't seem too bad. No, it was not too bad. And, as you can see, you abuse them like that. Completely fine. No bends. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend you get one of these. I'll be making a video after this if you guys are interested in how to make this uh, into a fume extract for a welder. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.